Today I have another hamster haul for you guys and I got two things from my local pet store. The first is this two pound bag of food. This is Sunseed something special critter cubes um, for hamsters, gerbils, mice, and rats. I had never really looked at this before but I decided to look at it today and picked it up. Like I said it's a two pound bag and it was only $3.49. The reason I decided to get this is because of the nutritional facts back here. It is really great in protein and it has 22% protein and 5% fat so that is pretty good. Um, I've never tried this before. It looks like the main ingredients if you can see it there are soybean meal, wheat middlings, and then ground corn, ground wheat and it does have molasses in it. So I'm not too sure about it but I thought I would just try it out. Um, probably for my Syrians. I have been feeding them the Missouri Lab Blocks also, along with their seed mixes. As of this video, of course, I haven't tried it, but I probably won't post this for a while. So I will put a little annotation or something in here um, to let you guys know if they do like this and all, and if I recommend it. The other thing I picked up from my local pet store were some treats. These are once again by Sunseed. Um, my local pet store carries a ton of Sunseed products. That's one of their main suppliers. These are the Animal Lovin's Apple Streusels uh, made with corn flour, carrots, leafy greens, and apple bits. And these are just some little treats for them. Um, if you can read it on there. It's for pretty much all small animals. The Nutrition. They're pretty low in fat for a treat. And they do have corn flour in them, so probably won't give these to my dwarfs too often, but maybe once in a while. I can open these up and just show you what they look like. And although these are called apple strudels, um, if you look on the ingredients, the hydrated apple is way down here. So they probably don't have too much of an apple flavor. It's probably a lot of vegetable flavor also. So here are apple strudel treats. Um, this bag or box was $2.99 and it's not too big, um, but they don't need that many anyway, so I'll just test them out and see how they go. I know they do have some similar treats at like PetSmart and stuff that are different brands. Here's Ellie helping us out once again. Um, the next thing I picked up, I just have one thing I got from Walmart that's not too exciting. I got another one of these storage containers. Um, I really love these containers. This is the size I use for my food. Right now I have my seed mix in one, so I needed another one for my um, pellet food. So I just decided to get these. I will be having a video once again coming up on organization. And these work really well for keeping all my items organized. The next two items I picked up at PetSmart. I've never tried either of these before, but they're both really recommended by the people on YouTube. So I thought I'd try them out. Um, the first one are the KT Fiesta Healthy Toppings Papaya. The only thing in here is dried papaya and artificial color. Um, everyone says their small animals really love these, so I'm looking forward to trying these out. These were $2.99 at PetSmart. I know they are quite a bit cheaper on PetStore.com, but I didn't have too much that I wanted to order from there, so I went ahead and paid a little bit more for them in store. The next thing I picked up from PetSmart that's also highly recommended on here are the Mineral Candy Chews by Wear. Um, there are four of them in here. None of my hamsters are very big chewers, um, especially Harry. Harry doesn't chew on anything, so I thought I would give these a try since people liked them so much. Um, for the four pack, it was like $4.49, so they are pretty expensive. Um, but I thought I would at least give them a try, and if they like them, then I'll probably have to keep buying them for them because they're spoiled. Um, so that is it. That's all I got at PetSmart this time. And the last two items I picked up at a Walmart... That's not my local one, but in the town where the PetSmart is. The first one is just a thing of cheesy chews. Um, I always pick these up when I can. These are my hamster's absolute favorites. Three of my hamsters devour these really quick. Um, Harry actually doesn't touch these because he doesn't chew on anything. But um, I can't recommend these enough. Almost everyone recommends these and they're really good. And they're a little less than $2 for both of those. The last thing I picked up at Walmart were these canine carry out beef and cheese flavor. These are mainly for my little spoiled dog Ellie, but I probably will give these to my hamsters a little bit. Um, they don't really have much protein in them compared to a lot of dog snacks, so they're not a really great treat. So they won't get these hardly very often at all, and I'll give them little tiny pieces. 
but I thought I would try them out for Ellie. They're like a dollar, so I'm sure she'll like them if I can get her to come down here. Come here. She's up on my bed and doesn't know what's going on. You want a goodie? Come here. Here she comes. Let me try to zoom out real fast. I'll give her, they are pretty big, so I'll just give her half of one since she's only about a 10 pound dog. Come here. Sit. Shake. Good girl. So let's see if she, she never eat them on camera for you, but there she is. So I know she'll probably like these. Um, all dogs love canine carryouts because they're not very healthy. So of course they're going to like them. Um, so that is it for this haul. If you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a list of, I think, about 15 video ideas right now. So it might be a while before I get to your request, but I will definitely get to it at some point. Um, make sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Leave any questions or comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already.